what are people's thoughts on Richard's wife, Catty? Where does she go from here? Besides selling her house in Delphi, so I don't know where she's going to go. That's been sold. It took four days to sell. They made a nice little profit, considering the new owners are probably going to have to get used to people slowing down driving past their house for the rest of their lives. I would have thought that that might be worth a bit of a discount. But I, I think it sold for 34 35% more than or the houses in the area. And they didn't exactly say that in the ad. By the way, the guy that lived here has been charged with the murder of two girls. I haven't said much about Catty really at all because there was no need. Most cases, the spouses don't have a clue about anything that went on. And they also have their lives turned upside down. I don't think Catty is any different here. She is, however, a part of the case now. She is mentioned in the PCA because of what Richard has said to her on the phone. If and when this goes to trial, I'd expect her to testify on Richard's behalf about his behaviour, especially around the time of these confessions. And I, I do feel for Cathy, I feel for Richard's daughter, but not as bad as I do for Abby and Libby's families. Cathy and Richard got on like a house on fire, if her Facebook posts were anything to go by. They seemed to be like a couple who was in the first year of marriage, not 25 years plus. And there didn't seem to be any kind of change in this from before 2017 and after 2017. Examples being in 2016, she's posting about having a great weekend with the hubby. I think it was on their anniversary. They were, it must be around Christmas. The holiday music was fantastic. The decorations were to die for. But it couldn't have been that good because Richard, it seemed, got bored, went to the car for a nap. And then Caddy stalked him and gave him a big fright. She then had the best steak ever. And it was a great anniversary. And her page is, was full of that, full of her and Richard on days out. Fast forward to 2018, and it's the same, really. Hobby gets promoted to Bay, and they're having a great time shooting pool, doing karaoke, and Richard is so funny, ha 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 ha. The posts are, they're a bit cringe, but it's kind of cute, like, if Richard wasn't charged with the brutal murder of two girls. And Catty has been fully supportive of Richard from what we can see. She was with him when he went for his interview last year. She was used in the PCA because she said Richard had guns and knives and he still had a blue jacket. She is at every court date, blowing kisses, mouthing I love you, whispering to friends, that's my guy. And that, like, that takes a bit of balls really, doesn't it? Imagine being catty and seeing Abby and Libby's families in the corner of your eye, but you're there supporting the person who was charged for this. She's obviously madly in love with Richard. Is she blindly in love? I don't know. I believe she believes Richard was caught up in a mix-up and is totally innocent. But does she still believe that? How is she feeling about it now that Richard has apparently told her on the phone multiple times that he did it like you see you see cases where it takes the wife a couple of months or even a trial for for the penny to drop when the penny drops they start to remember things a bit differently they realize oh yeah there there probably was a few red flags there was warning signs everywhere but i was completely love blind at the time but a far greater number of spouses Stick with them all the way. Go to visit them when they're on debt row right up to the end. I have no idea where Catty falls or will fall. I would love to hear that call with Richard and Catty. Um, eventually we probably will get to hear that. I want to hear his tone in Richard's voice. We'd have to hear other calls to get some sort of context. And the one with his mother because I cannot see his mother hanging up like Catty did. Catty terminated the call. Would his mother do that? Or is she going to ask more questions? And that action from, from Catty of hanging up abruptly. Has she now moved from a wife who loves her husband 
to a person who is now protecting a killer. Like, she's fully aware, obviously, that calls are recorded. I'm guessing her next call was to Rick's attorneys to tell them what happened because they rocked up the next day. Like, would she stick by Richard if she believed that he done this? Did she ask him on that call? Did she visit him afterwards and ask, Hey, Rick, what's going on? What were you saying to me? Because if this is true, please just plead guilty. Save me the ordeal and mortification of a trial. Or does her mind even go there? Does she just automatically think he's losing his mind because she cannot see a world where Richard is guilty? If Richard did this, I don't believe he's feeling any guilt or shame around it. People that commit crimes like this don't. They're incapable of it. If he's feeling sorry for something, he's just feeling sorry for himself. So anything he says, he is probably saying to help himself. So how does having this breakdown and confessions to Cathy, how does that help him? Does it bring her more in if she thinks he's losing his mind? Did... Richard see some of the discovery and does he now know that they have him and he's making up excuses to Caddy. Wah wah, I didn't mean it. I don't know what came over me. I was possessed. Then if that's the case, just plead guilty. You're free to make a full confession and change your plea. Do it. If he is innocent, it's hard to see. Like, how does this help him? It's, It's just bonkers to say something like that if you didn't do it. Especially when on paper at the moment, it looks like the prosecution is going to have a very hard time proving this beyond a reasonable doubt. Or is it planned? Is that the only way he sees out of this to be found incompetent? Is Rick fooling Catty, fooling his defence team? I don't know, is he clever enough for that? I think the prosecution are very suspicious that he is faking it. More than suspicious. I believe they full on think that he is faking it. Caddy doesn't though, surely. And maybe, maybe she's right. She knows Rick or thinks she knows Rick better than anyone. It's going to be very interesting to see how it all plays out. I'd love to know Caddy's mind after that call and if she's having any doubts. If Rick did this, then surely she is the best person to get him to just officially confess and come come clean. Tell us everything. Let your family, let the community move on. But I have my doubts that that is even a possibility in, in, in Caddy's mind to have this conversation. I don't see how she can imagine a world where Richard is capable of this. And will Caddy stick by Rick until the very, very end? I think so. Till death do us part, right? Let me know what you think. Good luck. God bless. I hope everyone has a nice day.